Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial about um, how to fix a GitHub repository not importing correctly. So I've noticed a few people have trouble um, getting or like an already made repository and importing it onto their own GitHub account. So they would they would post the old repository's URL to clone and they would make their repository name and then they'd hit begin import and it would be stuck for hours so this is basically just a a real quick manual fix for that so the repository that we're going to try to import is this test repository uh, so what you'll want to do um, first is to get uh, git bash or another bash shell that has you know git capabilities because we will be using git um, and you can download that here uh, git dash scm.com slash downloads and if you have windows just download it that way um, you should see something like this um, so once you have that downloaded you'll want to navigate to the correct like uh, directory so I just I'm in the tutorials directory but you'll want to navigate to the directory that has where you want the repository to be and so once you have gotten to that point go ahead and hit this button right here copy this link and then in git bash go ahead and say git clone and then paste in that link and once that happens you should have something that says swift so that is the repository and so well it, it won't say swift for you unless by chance the repository that you're cloning is called swift it'll be the name of the repository so if you go into that directory you should see something here that says main or master or something like that and that just denotes that you're in a git repository and that you did it correctly so what we're going to do is redirect where exactly your pushes will go um, so if you type in git remote dash v this will say origin and then it'll have the original URL but when you do pushes and fetches you don't want to use that URL you want to use a URL of your own repository so to do that just go ahead and make a new repository name it whatever you want so uh, we'll just call it swift test and we won't do any of this so we've got this quick setup blah 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 um, so we'll use the HTTPS go ahead and copy this then the command that you want to type to change the origin to your own repository is git remote set URL origin or whatever the name of the repo uh, remote repository is it's usually origin and then paste in oops, and then paste in this link that you have and then hit enter and then run remote uh, get remote dash v just to make sure that it happened and it should be different than it was before and so let's go ahead and run a git push origin main All right, and now once you refresh this page, you should have all the files and um, everything else. So if you were to make a change um, here, let's just say that you changed readme.markdown. So we'll go ahead and make a change, say, here is a change, and then exit vim 
with uh, colon wq. That is a very important command to learn, because uh, once you're in Vim, there's no getting out. So anyways, once you've made that change, go ahead and git at, well, it's already added, git commit, and then add a message, whatever you want that to be, say added change, which is a terrible commit message. All right. Oh, we do have to add it. Git add readme.markdown, and then commit add change, one file changed with two insertions, and then good, push origin main. All right, now refresh, and you can see the change is on our local repository and not on the original repository. So this is just a real quick way to fix um, not being able to import somebody else's repository into one of your own. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments, and uh, good luck.